Welcome back, everybody. It's Loving Living Local. Let me tell you about this organization, Restore Innocence. They're a local nonprofit that exists to aid victims of human trafficking in the rescue, restoration, and reintegration process by addressing their physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. For all the work they do for the community, they were chosen as May's three degree guarantee recipients. And joining me this morning is board member Suze Hess. How are you, Suze? I'm great. I'm grateful to be here, Claudia. Yeah, well, of course, you. you're here for a very good reason. You guys are going to have a donation that's going to happen in just a little bit. But first, let's talk about Restore Innocence and what it is. Restore tries to walk with comfort and grace and compassion and mm -hmm. truth with people who have come out of the sex trafficking life. Yeah. You know, when you talk about human trafficking, it's so hard to acknowledge or to even think that it's happening right here in our community. But the reality is it is happening, even though we may not see it, it's all around us. Give me an idea as to how common it actually is here in this community. Well, I'm not allowed to give out local stats, but okay. for Colorado, mm -hmm. we have had a task force focused on sex trafficking for nine years in the state. In that time, they have freed over 600 children alone. Oh. That doesn't even count the adults mm -hmm. that they have freed. And they've had over 300 convictions of traffickers. Wow. So it's, it's in our community. Mm -hmm. It's those, all around the world. It really is, and those are some pretty astonishing numbers. Now, when some of these children, people are freed, there is a process that they go through after to recover from that experience. Talk to me about what Restore Innocence does to help them. First, at the point of recovery, we have a network a relationship all across the nation with FBI and victim specialists. Mm -hmm. They turn to us for what we call restoration bags. We put together bags of brand new items because when a victim is um, picked up mm -hmm. in a sting or freed, all of their clothing, everything they own has to go as evidence. So they Got are it. left with nothing. Okay. We give them comfort by giving them clothing, mm -hmm. toiletries, a comfort item, a journal to write in. Wow. And we have distributed over 3,000 of those across the nation. Right now, we've been asked to replenish what we recently sent out and so we could use some help Absolutely. Putting new ones together. We also put things like a coloring book in for kids. We recently had a little boy whose favorite superhero is Batman. Oh. And when he opened up his bag, there was a Batman coloring book. Oh, I bet that made him smile. It made him That's smile wonderful. and feel special. And he put his blanket on as a cape and that gave him the courage to get through those first few days. Absolutely. Well, the work that you guys do is remarkable. And I know you're always looking for volunteers. If that is something you would like to do, you're always welcome to learn more. RestoreInnocence.org. And now we want to do something very special. We're going to welcome Trent Urban from Wirenut. He is in studio morning. this morning. Good morning to you, Trent. Thanks for having me again. Of course. Well, you've got a big old check that you're holding, but first yeah. I want you to tell everybody why Wirenut chose Restore Innocence. I really can't think of too many things that are more important. Um, when we ran across the list of the nonprofits that were voted on by, you know, by the viewers, when we ran across those, uh, the name, you know, Restore just really stuck out. Uh, after looking them up and seeing what they stand for, I thought that's, I can't think of too many, uh, you know, reasons to help any more than what they have, what they're doing there. So I th it's such a violation of trust and such a horrible thing to do to someone else that, you know, if we can help, we're going to. I mean, that's why I'm in this. That's why I do what I do. Otherwise, you know, what are, what are we leaving behind? So yeah. what we're able to leave behind this month is a check here to oh help my. out. And yes. after talking to Suze, so we were sitting there, you know, waiting for our interview uh -huh. and we were going through the details of all of this and understanding where this is going to go. I'm more proud than ever to help out with that. Yay. And I also want to yeah. highlight on Wirenet, you guys just got a recent award. Tell us about that really quickly, Trent. We did. I was asked by my team uh, to share this. So this is oh. a national award. Uh, we're actually in a peer group, a national peer group, best practices group within our industry. And what we do is we learn from each other how to make the industry better and make it into what it should be and what it can be and what it is becoming. And this I'm holding up here in honor of my team. 
Uh, we've worked our butt off for this, but this is the uh, Community Involvement Award, mm -hmm. and this was just um, announced to us on uh, Tuesday, so a couple of days ago, that we won it on a national level. So that's awesome. some friends out there. So all right, well, more than seventeen hundred dollars from WireNet, of course, Fox Twenty One also in the mix. Uh, this is for you for Restore Innocence and continue to do the work that you guys do. And if you're okay with it, I'm going to call Trent over here sure. to give you that check because I know he really wanted to do that. Thank you so much, you, Trent. Trent. Walk in here. I'm going to step out of the way with the whole social okay. distancing thing. But there you go. $1,780 to restore innocence this morning. Thank, Thank you so you. much, guys. Thank you. Glad if you want to learn more, restoreinnocence.org. Thank you so much to you, Seuss, Trent, for being here this morning. And again, continue to do the wonderful job that you do right here in the Springs. All right, everybody. This segment has been sponsored by WireNut Home Services this morning.